Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. 
Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, welcome to Yarn Lane. Um, those of you that have stayed with us from Sewing Street, thank you. Those of you that are just joining us now, we've got a really, really lovely hour for you. I'm jam-packed on the desk with not knitting and crochet today, we've got cross stitch. Um, and the kits that we have from my cross stitch are brilliant. Um, you'll love them. Those of you that have seen on Sewing Street the Brie Merrin ones, um, we have got a couple of them that we want to recap, but we've also got some brand new ones. We've got the Rome, we've got London, which you can see here with me. Um, we've got some really, really lo lovely animal magic birth samplers. We've also got the Heart Love Wedding Sampler, all brand new birdhouse ones, um, loads to talk about. So if you do want to shop ahead, it is all on pre-order. You can go to the website, which you know is yarnlane.com. Click on Watch Live and scroll down and everything is there on pre-order. In fact, Elliot's saying, I can do that. Um, have a look on the website and you can see all of the Brie Marion kits. Uh, I think that Cara's brought a couple of the Brie Marion ones with her today. If this is our website, we're still doing delivery in time for Christmas. So you don't need to worry if you if you are purchasing for gift ideas, shop with confidence as it will be with you in time for Christmas still. Yarnlane.com, scroll down, click watch live and there you have the Brie Merrin kit. You've got the brand new celebration one, you've got the wedding, you've got the London, you've got Rome, uh, you've got the birdhouse and then you've got all of your bits and bobs which are handy to have for your cross stitch. Should we start with the new ones? We'll start with the new. So I've got the birdhouse love. I've got love and cake. We'll start with the birdhouse because um, this is really, really cute. The finished size of it is a six inch square. Um, Cara's got one all framed and mounted. It looks absolutely beautiful. But this one um, it is really, really lovely. It's only $16.99. We think it would make a really, really great gift. Uh, so it includes uh, all of your pre-sorted DMC thread, your instructions, your 14 count cream Ada fabric, full colour chart and your needles. So if you are thinking for a gift for somebody, um, it's perfect. You can just get going and start stitching. You don't need to add anything to it. And that's what it looks like stitched. Beautiful. Um, it's a nice one for actually anybody who's moving into a new home maybe. I, I love the shape of it in a heart shape, it's gorgeous. I also think, you know when you take your Christmas decorations down, there's always, it always feels really bare, doesn't it? This would be really nice to, to stitch over Christmas time to then put up when we take our decks down in the new year. 16 pounds and 99 pence. Also, I have got the most appropriate one for me. This one is called Love and Cake. All you need is love and cake. Yes, I love it, love it, love it already people checking out you're feeling my vibes uh we all love a bit of cake don't we in fact look i'm sitting here i've told you i've already eaten two minutes pies i'm eating another mince pie i am addicted 16.99 you do get everything you need your pre-sorted dmc thread your instructions your ada your needles your chart well i don't know if you've already got yours by the way uh, they do not include the wooden frame, just so you know. It looks lovely in a frame like this, but if you mount it as well, have you seen the ones on Cara's desk? They look gorgeous. Now, Cara, um, hello. hello, how hello. are you? It's weird you're only being here for one hour. I today. know, it's really strange. It was actually quite 
weird sort of coming in a little bit later yeah it's being sort of like quite cool and you know relaxed <laughs> I oh, know, normally you get up where well, you just raise here as soon as you get up, don't I you? Know, Whereas it's probably I know. nice. I've had a nice chill morning. I know, it's been lovely. Uh, so, talk to me about My Cross Stitch because you're actually part of this brand, aren't you? Yes, yeah, so it's a company that I work with um, developing their cross stitch designs. So, I work with designers. So, I go out and, and choose sort of designers that we would like to work with and then we commission them to do some designs. So that particular one that you have in your hand there is by an art, uh, a cross stitch artist called Gail Bussey, right. who actually lives in South Africa. And I've oh. known her for years and years and years and absolutely love her designs. And we wanted something that was very pretty, very mm. um, soft colours, um, you know, that would hang in anybody's house. I mean, you know, we have some of the models here and they really are stunning, especially with the, the plain wood frame. Um, but I just love the sentiments behind yeah, them. Yeah, so oh, I do. It's really good. I think whether you're give, gifting this, I mean, it's suitable for a gift as it's got everything included in the pack, hasn't it? It has, definitely. And it's beautifully packaged. Again, we've gone for um, no plastic bags on those ones. So um, you've got absolutely everything that you need to get you started. So Is it printed canvas? No. So it includes Ada or Aida. Okay. which is a cross stitch fabric it's an even weave fabric that has the same number of stitches horizontally as it has vertically yeah so um the particular count of the aida fabric in there is a 14 count right and that means that you get 14 stitches to the inch right so it's a really good one for people who maybe have done cross stitch in the past um you know i love designs on linen I love designs on sort of 16 18 count which are very fine but 14 count is a really good one especially if you've never done it before as well yeah so, absolutely you know you can see it but I'm surrounded by magnifiers and lamps and things like that so there are so many um, items that will help you but, absolutely so it's a plain piece of fabric and then you have a color chart included in there so it's all pre-sorted as well it's all pre-sorted nice. which is fantastic because the different shades of pink sometimes look quite similar don't they so at least you've got everything sorted there so you're not going to be um, you know getting to a, a part of the project and thinking oh I've used the wrong I color know I know I know but it's all sorted for you so you don't need to worry about that your Ada or Aida what do you say? Um, Ada. Ada. Yeah, but I'm not sure if it should be Aida. So, so it's not only a, a colour chart, it's also some symbols as well. Yes, so there are black and white, yeah, black and white, there are black symbols on a colour background. So it helps you. So if you, you're wanting to sort of pick a, a certain colour or you're wondering where, you know, a particular colour is, and it, it's beautiful beautiful to sort of have the two yeah so you can be sure that you've actually got the right symbol and the right color really nice clear chart as it's been blown up yes. um, in in scale and you can see very clearly each grid each section is broken down for you so it's manageable for a beginner as well isn't it, it is it is and actually when you look at it like that um all the um symbols and everything on the chart that's the area that you stitch so there's a lot of the ada that you don't actually stitch so you know that's really good and that it's not a whole design that's stitched right. as opposed to london and rome but London and Rome um, are quite different. So when we come to talk about those, I'll explain yeah, those well, in a little bit more detail. We can do that. We can do them now. Yeah. We can do them yeah. now. It also has some instructions as it well. It does have instructions. instructions. So it's like a reminder for those who've done cross stitch before. But I'm hoping that I'll have time to do a bit of stitching as well because it's completely and utterly addictive. Right, so the London, you've got the, uh, that's the kit that you're going to be working on, isn't yes, it? Yes, I have got London partly worked, which I'm going to have a go at in a moment. Um, I mean, the, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous print. Who's designed this one? So this one is by um, a cross-stitch artist called Jureen Jones. Um, so she has been um, cross-stitching and designing for magazines and things like that for about 15 years. And again, I've known um, Jureen for a number of years. So we wanted a range of quite modern designs. And we noticed a couple of years ago that quite a few prints, and we look at prints, we look at cards, we look at different things like that. And we noticed mm. that there were quite a few um, posters that people wanted to put on the wall yeah. of different cities. 
So, um, you know, that's really where that inspiration came from. So we've, we've actually got um, a set of a few of them and we've just brought London and Rome here today. But I think there's New York, um, I'm trying to remember the other one, Sydney we've got in oh, Australia. Cool. So, um, and we wanted lovely bright colours. Yes. Now this again is on a 14 count, so it's 14 stitches to the inch, but you'll notice that the whole design is stitched. It is, so but, there's no, there's, yeah. Yeah, there's no shading. No. And it's just blocks of colour. Even here, every they're all stitched. So this is a lot more stitching. Isn't there's it? a lot more stitching, but it, because it's blocks of colour, again, when we come to um, do some stitching on it, you'll see that it's very, very simple to follow. Okay, cool And um, there's see. not sort of shading on um, the Brie Merriam ones. We wanted to bring a variety of designs to everybody here. Um, so with Brie Merriam, you might have, um, because they're animals, you might have some shading. So you might have sort of four or five different shades right. of one colour. So yeah. say browns or greys or something like that. With this particular one, it's you can blocks. see it's colour blocks. That's so and true. it is blocks of colour that you can stitch very quickly yeah. and very easily. Um, and I, again, I'll show you um, good ways of sort of making sure that this progresses, which is nice. But the whole thing about cross stitch is it is addictive um, but it is so relaxing yeah and and you can sit and chat and be very sociable and have your stitching on the go and you know don't think that you're going to have to count every single stitch All right so you can pick it up and put it down you can pick it up and put it down and again I'll explain sort of like some hints and tips about that but um, it really is you know um, it's one stitch so this particular one just uses one stitch so that's cross stitch um, one of the designs that we're going to look at, I brought a few different designs today, uses sort of quarter and three quarter stitches. So right. hopefully I'll be able, able to explain that. And that's where you want to get a little bit more detail around shapes and things like that. So, um, but the other design that we showed earlier, the Gail Bussy one, the cake one, um, that uses um, cross stitch and back stitch. Right, so in your London kit, it contains your three pre-sorted DMC thread again. It contains your instructions, your 14 count ADA, full colour chart and needles included. Um, the finished size of it is eight and a half inches by 10. So it's a really good size as well. It's a lovely size. And, you know, as I say, that is quite a modern design to put on a wall in a oh, yeah. you know, home. Oh yeah, I know so many people that would love this. I mean, if you are thinking of a gift for somebody, whether you're stitching it for somebody or whether you're buying this with, you know, the intent of them stitching it, it's fab. Absolutely brilliant. Now we also have, if you love these city collections, we've also got Rome. So um, this is obviously the packs that they come in and the London one will, will come in the same same pack. This is cool, your, your motorcycle, the Colosseum obviously. Oh, that's called moped, sorry, not moped, <laughs> moped, um, you call a see, uh, it's fab, isn't it? It really is. And, you know, we've tried to take um, elements. Um, so again, we went to Doreen and um, said we wanted a range of designs. And we said, you know, sort of iconic images, mm -hmm. iconic buildings and things like that. Something that sort of is nostalgic as well, reminds you of maybe that holiday that you went on. Can we, we remember holidays in Rome and things like that? Oh, I know. I, and I know a lot of people, one of my friends got engaged in Rome. This would be a lovely, a lovely gift for somebody, wouldn't it, to have on their wall. Do you know all these landmarks, Elliot? <laughs> he says he knows two of them. Oh, and he can't think of the name either. Twenty four ninety nine, and it contains all of your pre-sorted DMC thread. Same again with this. It's completely stitched, but block colours. In comparison with the Brie Merin, as we said, look at how shaded this is because it's, it's, it is like artwork. Whereas this block colours, even though there's a lot more stitching, block colours makes it easier. I completely yes. understand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And they are all on 14 counts. So we are sort of appealing to people who, um, you know, maybe have done a bit of cross stitch or have never done it before. And you want to have something that will, you can see the progress. I love the fact that you start off with a plain piece of fabric and then you do a bit of stitching and you can see the picture growing yeah. actually out of the background. Yeah, it's so cool. 24.99, that's another brand new um, kit. We've seen some of the Brie Merriam ones on Sewing Street before uh, and we have got a few of them back in stock. But if you've not seen them on your own lane, oh, they're, they're fantastic kits from Micro Stitch. Um, all of the artists, they're beautiful, really different as well. 
Now we also have some brand new samplers which um, are really nice as well. We've got a wedding one and we've got a birth sampler which is lovely. Wedding one to start with. Um, this one comes with, again, everything that you need to get going, Cara. Everything's included and we also, in this particular pack, I can show you, we've actually included an alphabet so that you can personalise it. So that's the beauty about samplers is that, um, you know, historically, samplers were used for people to practice, um, young girls to practice their stitching. Um, but as the years went on, people sort of went to go and do samplers to commemorate a special occasion or something like that. So, um, you know, this one's lovely. And as I say, you have an alphabet included in there. Fab! Oh, that's really useful. Oh, by the way, the image on the, in the website is wrong. So you're not getting the Love Cake one again. This is the one that you'll get. You'll see Love Cake, but what you're getting is the one that you can see on your screen now. Um, and a chance to personalise it. Different names, different dates. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's lovely. The tree of life as well, so symbolic. And the birds, the flowers, the bows, so pretty. You've, You've actually got the finished one yes, there, haven't you? Yes, you don't have to actually um, use this one as a wedding sampler. You can use it yeah. um, for an anniversary or something like that. But again, I love the fact that it's, it's very pretty colours, very delicate, not... Um, the whole design isn't stitched, so you've got some of the aid of fabric in the background. And this particular one uses um, quarter stitches and three quarter stitches. So again, I'm going to show you um, what we mean by three quarter mm. and quarter stitches. But that's for getting um, curves and different things like that. Um, but as I say, you know, if you just love this picture, and I think it's just got a lovely sentiment, you don't have to, because it's not no. printed or anything, you don't have to actually put um, the name there. You could actually um, just stitch a few more butterflies or a few more flowers or something like that. Absolutely. So, um, you know, I, I love the fact that you can make it your own. Love which it. Which is nice. It's gorgeous. Now, I think this is really special. We've got the birth sampler, the animal magic birth sampler which is so adorable, isn't it? Imagine this in a nursery, imagine this in a child's bedroom. You can make it with any name you want. I've never heard the name Myron before. No, I hadn't. This, these um, sampler designs are by a designer called Mel Watkin Patel. And um, we wanted to have sort of something generic. So we wanted to have names that would, um, you know, be okay in uh, in Europe and we sell to Australia to America and things like that and um, so you know she chose Myron as um, the name on this particular but you don't design. you can you, you can personalize it. it again okay so, so how do I know how to do my name in it so there are our instructions included in the pack and um, that will explain how to um, personalize it so I'll just I think I've pop got this one. here Oh, you've got one. Yeah. So it does go through everything. So it says how to personalise your design. It says a blank space has been provided on the design for you to add your own details indicated by a line on the chart. So the chart itself will have an area. So this is the um, wedding one. And there is an area on the chart that's completely blank. And there's a line that goes across just this area here. And then um, it explains to you, so you won't actually stitch any of that area until you're happy with the placement. So we have an alphabet here. Oh, great. And numbers. And that will come in both the, the wedding one and in yes. the birth sampler as yes. well. Yes, yeah. The only thing that I would say is, obviously, if the name is Alexandra and Elizabeth, mm -hmm. you may find that you're going to run out of space if you use the great big lettering but there's lots and lots and lots of cross stitch alphabets available to download on the internet so um what i would do is if it, it was somebody called alexander and elizabeth i would actually do um a back stitch name and we include a back stitch alphabet here the only thing we don't do is include um capital letters in the back stitch alphabet i think when we do some more samplers i'm going to ask that we put a back stitch alphabet with um, capital letters as well so um, what you would do and what I would do personally is actually with a pencil I'd mark the center of it I'd, I'd write the name out I'd mark the center of it and I'd mark it up 
actually on the chart and if you do it in a pencil you can rub it out yeah, um, you know so you can, so you can play it. around with it so mm -hmm. um, that's what I would do or I'd photocopy this put it to one side and work it out first and then put it on the design and just see whether it fits and everything that's a really but good idea there's lots of information here how um, you can personalise your design. This is lovely, isn't it? I love the train track around the edge. Oh, I know. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? That is real attention to detail. You get all the colours again. You have your threads. You've got your coloured chart. You have everything that you need included in the pack. All for 19 99 That is so good. Such gorgeous value. For, uh, look at that. I mean, it looks amazing, the little giraffe. Really good value for money as well. Uh, oh, thank you, Susan. It's just for afternoon all. Nice to see something different on today. Excellent. Brilliant. Good. Well, we like to bring different things. And um, cross-stitch is something that actually over the last year or so, people have revisited. And Very you know, I've, I've I've spoken to a lot of people who said, oh, you know, I, I used to do cross stitch, but you know what? I've picked it up and I've found it really, really enjoyable. Yeah. You know, especially, you know, some people are having to stay at home at the moment and things like that. So it's just lovely. And you'd be surprised how quickly the designs grow as well, which is nice. So. Oh, I do think there's something very mindful about it. And if you are, um, you know, lucky enough that you're able to go and stay with someone's family for Christmas and you want to take something with you, it's very portable, isn't it? It as is, well? definitely. Um, you know, I love sort of popping my cross stitch in my bag. And, you know, if, if I'm just sat anywhere, yeah. I can stitch. Yeah. The places that I've stitched, it's been, <laughs> I can remember doing um, a birth sampler for a friend's um, son who's now 35. And I can remember stitching it on a beach in America. Oh, wow. So, you know, it just, you, it does transport you to where you were stitching. Yeah. And most, a lot of people will do stitching either to hang on the wall or to give as a gift. And mm -hmm. What is beautiful about cross stitch is that that's your time that you've given that person. Absolutely. It's not that you've gone out and bought something. Yeah. You've actually spent the time making it, yeah, which is nice. Really special, really, really special. Um, do we want to do some demo and then we can revisit the Brie Merrin ones, yeah. if that's okay? The Brie Merrin ones, I know that you've seen on Stone Street and they're already selling on the website. So have a look on yarnlane.com and you can get the Brie Merrin ones, but we will um, look at them before the end of the hour. I just want to get stitching. So <laughs> you've done a grid on your yes um, so there's different ways of doing your cross stitching so i wanted to sort of show you one way i also wanted to talk to you about hoops as okay, well setting yourself and up. also about magnifiers and lamps and things like that so this particular one is um the lottie lottie the lamb oh so this is the brie merrin one yeah Grab. it okay. is the brie merrin one um, do you want me to do this one first or shall I do the, the London one and come back to Oh, yeah, it? yeah, if you do yeah. the, the London one, that yeah. would be good. And yeah, then we can come fine. back to Lottie the Lamb, because yeah. we do love Lottie. <laughs> and Geraldine. Oh, it's Geraldine the Giraffe. Yes. We've seen a lot of Geraldine today. We love Geraldine. We Geraldine love... popped up for no reason on the screen on Sewing Street earlier, <laughs> randomly. <laughs> <laughs> we all thought we were going mad. <laughs> We don't, Ellie, don't know what you're talking about. There, so I will just um, talk about Lottie just from the point of view. One way of um, gridding up, you'll notice with your chart that it actually has um, a solid line. Oh, going every, that I know is going to fall. There we go. Um, on your charts, you will have a solid line. And the solid line on the chart indicates 10 stitches. Right. So if you want to sort of make it a little bit easier, what you can do is, is tack horizontally and vertically every 10 stitches. So you can make a grid like this. Is that a lot of work? Can I do it with a friction pen? You can do it with a friction pen. So that's one, one other alternative is do it with a friction pen. Okay. But remember that it's there. Don't iron your fabric oh true yeah because it will disappear so i this doesn't take long does not take long at all the the thing that takes the time is obviously the counting and it, you'll see that i've actually done it just in the center and i think that's really nice to sort of make sure what you want to do on your design is find the center of the design so um on the ones where it's just a single chart you'll have an arrow horizontally at both sides and then vertically, you'll have another arrow. 
and then where the two meet that's your center and the reason why you do that is that when you're stitching you want to be sure that your design is in the center of the fabric so do you start there you can start there but as long as you're aware of where exactly the because what you don't want to happen is you start stitching and maybe you start stitching over here and you run out of fabric ah, that makes sense. so you want to have it in the center and then everything is related to that so that's one way with the friction pen is another way and then on the London one because this is a lot lot easier you can see there's just blocks of color I've actually just tacked a line for the horizontal and the vertical and that's again the center of my design on the London one we've actually split this up into four quarters to make oh, it very, very, very clear. clear. Okay? Yeah. And again, um, the lines indicate every 10 stitches. What we have got, because we've got four quarters, you'll notice that there's two arrows in the center there, two arrows in the center there. And that is because the chart overlaps. So two rows overlap. So your center is actually just there. Oh, I'm with you, yeah. Okay. So they'll be shaded, those two rows. So just be aware of that when you're stitching, that that is the center. So the center is here. So where the two arrows, arrows meet, that's your center. You'll also notice on this one and um, some of the other ones that I've stitched, and this is something I've only done recently, and that's using a highlight pen to actually mark where I've stitched. That's a really good idea. Because then when you come back to it, you can see exactly where you stitched. And if I just move that one like that. It was loving the London. Uh, <laughs> London. Okay, only six left if everyone checks out. So you can see here, this is the area that I've been stitching. And this relates to here. So I've only highlighted up to there. And that relates to that line there. And that makes it so, so much easier. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is just do a few basic um, stitches to show people, if you've never um, cross-stitched before, um, how easy it is to so do it. So there's no half, no quarters in this? In this one, there's no half, three quarters or quarters. And again, I'm going to hopefully have time to do that if Elliot is able to get quite close to um, the fabric. Oh, Not yes, on this is. one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, setting yourself up, we talk about being portable, but if you want to set yourself up a hoop at home, on a desk, this makes it sort of hands free. We've got a clamp, yep. haven't we? The clamp uh, is the one that you're using there, which is great. It's really, really good. If you're sat at, at a table, this is really nice to actually have it, um, you know, uh, to, to hold your fabric and everything. It means that you've got both hands free and you'll be able to pass your needle backwards and forwards. I'll show you once I've mounted it onto there. So you take your design and you want to roughly get that into the center. There's a, a screw on the outside and you can see that the hoop itself there has got a gap. So we want to open that up and this will go over the top like that. And this holds your fabric nice and taut. The only thing that I would say is if you're, you know you're not going to be stitching for a little while, um, take the hoop off because you don't want that um, the fabric to be um, not damaged because it doesn't damage it but leaves a, a hoop or a shape on the fabric so I'm just going to pull that down and you want that to be as tight as you can okay so I'm going to take now with your thread how do you set yourself up do yeah. you you know, like when you're doing your embroidery, you take strands away. Do yes. you need to do that with cross stitch? You certainly do. And with the thread card, what I've done, and again, I found this a lot easier, is actually, whoops. So you have a colour list here. So every symbol represent is represented, um, every colour is represented by a symbol. And on the thread card, you have a list of the colour numbers. So these are the DMC colour numbers. And I've actually just drawn at the side of each one the symbol. Oh, good idea. And then I can put that to one side and don't have to have that there all the time. So that helps. So, for example, I'm going to be stitching this area here. And that 
means I want this particular colour. So there's a, that, that's the one with the cross and it's shade number 581, which is the green, and that's the green there. What um, you want to do is, it does tell you, use two strands of thread for the cross stitch. If there's any back stitch, it will tell you the number of strands that you need to work with. So I take one strand off at a time. You can either take one strand off at a time or you can take two strands off at a time. But if you hold your thread carefully, you can actually pull that out. Oh, and that's not so going to tangle? It's not going to tangle and oh, you've okay. left everything there so it keeps it all neat and tidy. And then this way of starting was taught by Jane Greenoff and it enables you to have two strands of the stranded cotton but you're going to leave a loop on one end, mm -hmm. okay? So you'll take your tapestry needle, which is a needle that has a large eye and a blunt end, so it's very easy. We also include um, in the kit a, a needle that has a sharper point, and that's really good for doing back stitch and quarter and three quarter stitches. But for this particular one, the tapestry needle is fine. So you thread your thread with two strands, yeah. And you've got your loop on the end there, if we can see that. Yeah, we can. Okay. And what I'm going to do is on the wrong side, so I'm going to check on my chart. So this particular area, I'm going <coughs> to be starting just under where that brown stitching is. So if you look on there, you can see that line there is where I'm going to be stitching. Yeah. So you start with your loop on the wrong side, you bring your needle through from the wrong side and you pull it some of the way through. I'm going to tilt this until we can see on the back. You should be able to see the loop there. And I'm going to do a diagonal stitch. I'm right-handed, so I'm working from bottom left to top right. And I'm doing a diagonal stitch and I'm bringing my needle through the fabric and I'm actually going to pop my needle through the loop. Oh, so you don't need to do a knot. No, there's no nice knot. So you pop that through the loop, you bring it down and that's nice and secure oh, for when brilliant. you're stitching. That is a really good idea. So again, as I'm right-handed, you can either do your stitches one at a time or I find it's really good to just do a line of stitches. So you're saying so I'm doing my you're right-handed, right yeah. I'm a lefty, how am I going to be doing it then? So you're, you'll be doing it from, um, so from, you'll be working from your right towards your left okay. and you'll be going from bottom right to top left okay. and down and as long as you keep your diagonals in the same direction um, it doesn't matter no. what you don't want to do is mix and match your diagonals all so over the place consistent. so keep it consistent so it's nice and smooth and so I oh, find it does have lovely texture all of these you just want to touch I them. know <laughs> and and because of the stranded cotton it, it's a hundred percent cotton thread that's mercerized so it's gone through a chemical process which makes it very shiny right and when you're stitching with it um you know your oils on your hands and things like that might start to take the shine off but because it's 100 percent cotton it's color fast you can wash this and you can wash it up to 100 degrees you're really? not going to no, you wouldn't but, but you, can. you can wash it well, and you that worked brings for for a long yeah time, didn't you? that brings the shine back to the right. thread it brings the shine back because of the chemical process and the heat process it it went through so we're just doing just find my so I'm just doing if you see here I've one two three four five so I just want to do five stitches so I've done one two three four five so I've gone across there so I've done my diagonals going in that direction now I'm coming back and doing the diagonals in the other direction I suppose this is where the hoop helps because you're passing the needle back and forth now, exactly and you? Um, you can do it in your hand there's no reason at all but what we try to say to people is 
don't fold your um, fabric and do it in one movement. It's much, mm. much better to do it in this stabbed movement. Now, if you're, if you're worried about your eyesight not being great seeing these stitches, do you ever use a magnifying glass? I always use a magnifying glass and I always use a natural light. Okay. So oh. in the winter time when, um, you know, things are, I don't know whether the camera will be able to pick this up. Oh yeah, we can. Yeah. This so is native lighting. in the winter, um, time this is just invaluable it really is because you can actually um, make it the different oh here we go lights. we just changed because it's just sort of uh, bleached our lighting there yep. we go so that gives you that lovely natural light yes there we go so you can see that helps so much when you're stitching so I, I have my um, lamp and my magnifier. Um, sometimes I don't need to use the magnifier, but sometimes it is really, really handy. But you can see that's a natural Oh, light. that makes it so much better, doesn't it? So yes. much easier to have the light and the magnifying glass, yes. especially if you're working different. Well, I feel like it's always quite dull, isn't it, at this time of year? Um, just so you know as well, you've got it on split pay. Normally, it's only uh, items over £100 that we managed to get on split pay. This is £42.99 or £14.33 on split pay. Brilliant value it, for a native lighting um, piece. No interest as well. That's 0% interest. It's a lovely little light, actually, isn't it, it? It's beautiful. This works if you're actually sat where you can put this and you can tilt and move the lamp close oh, you can move it away um which is beautiful you've got this other one which is lovely as well oh, um, is which big, is like yeah. an angle poise i don't want to move it too much um you can turn the actual top of it without spinning the clamp i believe let's just it's all right i just don't want to um pull it off the desk yeah <laughs> that'd be awful i just want to move that round i think that's the one but this one is lovely as well. So I'm just undoing it slightly. There we go. Just to ch change that round. So that's got a table clamp as well. Yeah. But this also has um, your magnifying glass and it has um, your lighting still. So it's got lots of different lights. Daylight, um, it, daylight, warm light. Yes. Warm light. It's, it's, it's. it's beautiful again you know this is really good you can use it as well I don't know if you'll be able to see this but you can use it as well for helping you with the chart so if you're struggling to see the chart Elliot you can actually <laughs> sorry <laughs> you can actually um, move the um, you know the lamp and everything so you can see your chart a lot clearer brilliant so you can see that is a lot larger which is great and like you say you've got different um lights on there so it's good for i'm not going to move the um here we go let's move this one so you can see that as well so all of these things help they really do help with your stitching there we go it's hard you you can't see properly from here because obviously the camera's at the wrong height and uh, not height but um yeah i think with the camera yeah, you're looking go. at it in a funny angle aren't you you yeah. can see where the overhead camera is it's not directly above it yes. where you would look at it but you can see a bit better so that is really really nice as well so anything that helps you i love the fact you know that the actual um design is very simple to follow mm -hmm. but anything that helps you make it easier i think um is useful and if you're going to be doing a bit of cross stitching um, it really does help, you know, with, when you're stitching. Fab. So we, we're just coming back across here. And this is just showing you what the cross stitch is. So you've got your two strands there. So that's a line of five cross stitches. Brilliant. Okay. Can we show that, you know, you said about the half 
yeah. uh, ones. We'll go on to the animals because they yep. show more of the uh, half sti cross stitch, don't they? Um, they don't use much of that. The one that does use a lot of it is the um, sampler. Right, so you set I'm yourself going up to, for that and yep. I'll show you some of the animals yep. just because a lot of these are selling out. So the one that you saw Cara working on was this one. Oh, this is Lottie the lamb who is wearing the most adorable Wellington boots. Now, Brie Merrin is an artist. She's absolutely incredible. Watercolours, you may have seen. In fact, I saw some of her mugs. She's in Did quite you? a lot yes. of them. Yes, the garden centres yes. yeah, and gift shops. There she is, and there's her artwork. Um, and uh, Cara, you actually found um, her artwork on some greetings cards and said they would look great stitched. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm always looking around at um, different places to see, um, you know, what maybe people might like and if things are popular in ceramics and things like that in posters and things like that you think actually do you know what i think they would work really well yeah so by well, transferring it onto cross stitch is really difficult because you've still got that look of it being painted in, in you know in watercolors so in here it finishes an eight inch square and it includes your dmc thread your instructions your 14 count ada full color chart and needles um, all included, this would be a beautiful gift, $22.99. Also, Geraldine is absolutely flying out. Geraldine is the giraffe. Um, look at the eyes. Oh. It's the eyelashes. The eyelashes on Geraldine so are they just... Back they are backstitched. Yes, and um, they really are stunning. Oh, um, I love it. And if you think about the actual stitching itself, obviously you've got all of these sort of sprays around it, which give it sort of movement, yes, doesn't it? Yes. But the, the the stitching itself, don't be too daunted by it because it is literally block by block, as Cara was showing you with um, with Lottie. They are fab, aren't they? Once again, it comes with everything that you need, uh, including your DMC thread, your instructions, your 14 count Ada, your colour chart and your needles, all included. Um, this is Eliza. Eliza the elephant, oh, is beautiful. Look at Eliza, the little baby elephant splashing about in the mud. She's so gorgeous. She is. And I love the shades on her. Um, we worked, obviously, with Brie, but we worked with a very, very experienced charter. And that is such a skill to sort of take a design yeah. and then match the colours to the DMC stranded cotton and then produce a chart that oh, will, so you know, it just, from a distance, you wouldn't think that was stitched. They all look like artwork. When yes. you're looking at the ones round, yep. dotted around the, the studio, they do look like art. They're absolutely amazing. We've got Olive, the really wise old owl. Um, and this one, I just love that it's peering round the corner from the side of the frame. Hello. That's how I imagine she talks. <laughs> uh, $27.99. And, and are they a beautiful gift again? They come in the lovely packaging with everything that you need to get started. Um, I think this is something that you spend a bit of time, put a, a, some, you know, put love it, uh, into it because it does look incredible. I think a lot of people are going to ask you about this as a piece of artwork on your, on your wall. They look amazing. Then, oh, this is a bit different, isn't it? The leopard. Layla, ready to pounce. Look at the eyes. That's so cool, isn't it? I think this was um, one that I think Brie was saying. She ran on safari, didn't yes. she? She saw yes. them in their natural habitat yes. and was just mesmerised. It's, it's incredible. And in fact, um, Brie was a portrait artist as well. And obviously eyes are so important. And when you look at some of her wildlife designs, they actually, you know, the eyes are the things. And I think once you get those eyes right, and can you imagine that those eyes are stitched? No. They're not painted, no, they're incredible. stitched. So, you know, it, again, it's such a skill to be able to sort of create that. They're amazing, aren't they? We've then also got Dusty the cat. Dusty's so adorable. Look at her wanting to play. She play wants to play with a butterfly. I think that's the first chance she's had of um, seeing a butterfly. Oh. And she just doesn't know what to do with it. Oh, so cute. Fluffy little kitten. $24.99, your pre-sorted DMC thread. This is a 10-inch, this is slightly larger, 10-inch cross-stitch finished um, size. 
with your DMC thread, instructions, 14 count ADA, full colour chart and needle, all included for £24.99. Then finally, we have the bees. Now, this is one of Bree's most popular, actually. It is, yes. And, um, you know, we all know that the, the bee population is shrinking. Oh, we've got to look after the bees. And we have to look after the bees. And I just think, um, you know, that is just such a gorgeous one. They look so cuddly. We know they're not, but they do look cuddly. <laughs> oh, they're lovely and fluffy, aren't they? Oh, they really are. But that's just lovely. And I think the splats around the outside as well just really make that design but like the buzzing round 17.99 and that was one of the most popular when we launched it on sewing street so uh, i'm really pleased we've managed to bring it on yarn lane right we've got 10 minutes cara okay so i want to talk to you a bit about um quarter and three quarter stitches because a lot of people sort of look at um designs and sort of think oh right okay and three quarter and quarter stitches are a little bit harder to do on mm -hmm. aida fabric because you're actually going to be splitting the fabric when you stitch. So the area that I'm doing here is for the V and you'll see if we can get in very close, you might need to get in a little bit closer here, um, that the actual symbols, that's lovely, thank you. So you've got the solid triangle yeah. going across and then you have this sort of one that splits, oh, yeah. okay? So that is showing a little solid triangle in the top right corner of mm -hmm. that particular part of the grid. And that will tell you that you need to do a quarter stitch. You do a quarter stitch, but for this particular letter, there is no back stitching around the design. So you do your quarter stitch and then you make a three quarter stitch, which is a line that goes diagonally. And that means that if you've got, like for example, the O here, there's a number of the little symbols in the corner. And again, that's a quarter stitch with a diagonal yeah. half cross stitch going around it. And that makes a three quarter stitch. And it just makes the shape. So if I show you on the fabric, okay. So just want to, so the O, can you see here you've got the th there is a quarter stitch I'll show you a quarter stitch in a moment but then you've got the half cross stitch going across oh, I and that stitch, no, no no that That's it, goes yeah. so there's no Straight back stitch the around there and usually your back stitch would be in a different color it would be in a darker blue or something like that but this particular one you don't use a back stitch so you do your quarter stitch and then you make your three quarter stitch by stitching a half cross stitch mm -hmm. so let me show you what that means so i'm doing my half cross stitch diagonally and i've come to the end and again i'll just pick up the chart and pop that over so i've come to here so i'm going to do a quarter stitch and then i'm going to finish it off with a diagonal going in that direction and that completes your three quarter stitch. So my quarter stitch, you go from the hole and you're going to go into the center of the woven threads of the Ada. Now we do include a sharp needle. So if you wanted to, you could do these particular stitches with the sharp needle and that will split. But can you see how my fabric is split now? Yeah. So that little stitch there is a quarter stitch and if I do a diagonal a half cross stitch that makes my three quarter stitch can you see that mm -hmm. okay so then I finish off my stitches and then I'll come down to the next so this is used quite a lot on the sampler ones um, to add shape and definition we don't try to use them unless they're absolutely necessary um, so I've done these diagonals so I'm coming down to this, this bottom line here so I've got a quarter and a diagonal so that makes a three quarter three stitches and then a three quarter so if I've got time I'll do that so I'm coming down and everything is in relation to the stitches that you've already done so I'm going to come down 
one block of fat thread. And I find it easier if I'm doing um, a quarter stitch to work from the top. So this is this area here. Yeah. So I've done, that's the line I've just done. So I'm missing a line of stitching and I'm coming down one. Okay, yeah. so this quarter stitch just goes here. So I find it easier to actually pass my needle down through the aid of fabric. So you might need to give it a bit of a wiggle to get through. So that's a quarter stitch and your three quarter. And then I've got, how many have I got? One, two, three. So I could do three more diagonals. And because of the way that you threaded your needle, your threads are lying nice and parallel, so they'll cover the aid of fabric nicely. So we do three of those, and then there's a quarter stitch on the other end. So this one, I'm actually going to come from the bottom because of where I've ended. So I'm going to come, when you've done a few of these, you can see that that split the block. So I'm going to go across like that. And then that makes the bottom of the V. And then I do my three stitches going across. Gosh, it's so quiet. <laughs> I'm concentrating. <laughs> it is very mindful, isn't it? It's oh, very it's relaxing. just I lovely. Tell you love I just hand stitching. Oh, I really do. I mean, I'm just lose myself completely. And you know, you are concentrating, so you know it does take you into a, li a little bit of a world. You know where you you. I can bet you lose relax. so much time, don't you? Oh, you could. You know, leave the cleaning and the cooking and all of that sort of th things and do do this is just lovely and it is your time that you're putting into it like oh, so making a quilt and ev everything like that so that's the um three quarter and the quarter stitch i'm trying to think if there's anything else i think that's most of the only thing i haven't shown is the back stitch have we got time not um mm, oh, no we have really we, so we so have sorry. done back stitch before on sewing street so yeah. if you look back at um you know some of the brie merin and it is ones. all in the instructions, it isn't is. it? There's diagrams yep. to yep. help you along with the different yes. stitches. Yeah. So thank you ever so much. That's quite all right. Anything else that you wanted to mention about them? No, no not at all. Good. Just uh, we'd love to hear how you get on with your stitching. Yeah. So, you know, please share for those who have actually bought some, you know, please share some photos of you doing it. It's not going to be a, a project that you're going to do overnight. It will take, you know, a few weeks, but please share your pictures we'd love to see them absolutely now loads of these white lamps have gone would you mind pulling that back into yeah. um, the center um, this is a native light chameleon desk lamp and it's got a magnifying glass as well as this brilliant led light so it's got um, different light settings different light colors different brightnesses it's on split pay today at 14 pounds and 33 pence Four ways, th sorry, three way split way split pay, which is brilliant because normally split pay wouldn't start unless it were over a hundred pounds. Um, from Native Lighting, I believe these are in our stock, aren't they? These don't come from Native Lighting. I think these are, these are in our warehouse, so these will be with you before Christmas, um, which is brilliant if you're thinking of a gift for somebody. Just forty two ninety nine. My mum was after a reading light actually. That would be a nice desk. Uh, you know, can be used for lots of different things. I mean, I'm, I find it perfect for threading my needle. Yes. No matter what stitching I'm doing, yes. I find it absolutely perfect for threading my needle. And it's got quite a nice, flexible gooseneck as well, hasn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. Um, loads of you have checked out on that one. It's just 42 99 today. Have a, have a look on the, uh, on the website, um, on, on Native Lighting's website, because they have got quite a few different beautiful lights, which we stock here um, on Yarn Lane and on Sewing Street. Those of you that are shopping with us today, you have got an extended money back guarantee now to the 31st of January. So if you're buying for Christmas, it will be delivered in time for Christmas. Buy with confidence. All of the Brie Merrin ones, I'm not going to run through them all now because I haven't got time, but they're all underneath us on the website. The brand new ones that we launched today, all you need is love and cake has been one of, if not the most popular. Um, it's again from the Micro Stitch Company um, and they are absolutely beautiful. It's designed by Gail Bussey, who um, has designed such a lovely, whimsical, gorgeous sampler. 
plus all of the others, the brand new Birdhouse Love, the, um, the birth sampler, the wedding one, and London and Rome are all as well on the Yarn Lane website. £16.99 for that one. It's worth having a good look and checking out now we've seen all the demos. Remember, everything comes with full instructions, all of your pre-sorted thread. They all come with colour charts. They all are on 14 count Ada, so suitable for beginners. And they all come with needles ready to, to start stitching over Christmas. Enjoy, absolutely enjoy. Um, thank you so, so much for your company all day today on Sewing Street and on Yarn Lane. Yarn Lane is back tomorrow with John Scott. He's got Christmas kits tomorrow at 12 o'clock. So do make sure you join him. Um, if you can though, join him bright and early tomorrow on Sewing Street as well as uh, he's got lots of gorgeous, gorgeous makes with Janice tomorrow. Um, if you stay exactly where you are, I'm going to quickly have my lunch and head over to the Jewellery Maker Studio where I'll be until five o'clock. So please come and join me. Come say hello so I know you've stayed with me. Um, if you can't, I'll see you on Tuesday next week. We've got two amazing quilt kits on Sewing Street next Tuesday, so do join me. Thanks for your company. If I don't see you before, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and we'll see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Bye.